days later. We're live, Bradford. Are we? All right. So We're live again. Pull chat up. <laughs> so Brad's going to monitor some chat. Hello. Welcome to uh, WorshipTutorials.com. This is try number two for this live video. The first one was not a success. How does that look? Hey, well, this isn't the newly arranged room. It's a sort room. of a new setup, and I think it looks pretty pretty sharp. It does. You can see a big circle right here from my monitor. It's a definite thing that you see. Much better. Is that your dad? No. Isn't your dad's, my dad's name, name Bob? Bill? Oh, Bill. There's a Bob Mitchell, and I was like, Brad, is your dad watching? <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. I can guarantee you, my dad's not watching. My dad loves me and is very very cool and proud of what I do, but. I don't think the internet's much. <laughs> uh, well, Speaking. we tried to uh, tried to do this video once, and it failed. We didn't do a live video this morning, so if you were ready for that, uh, we had no announcement that it wasn't happening. Sorry about that. Um, but we have a cool video. Completely unplanned. Oh, you already, they already know what this is, right? Mate, well, I'm well, sure the title of the title. video says, says so. Brian, I'm anxious to get this thing <laughs> going. So, McPherson, McPherson Guitars. Give us the... This place, I can make sure I'm not walking anything. You probably are. That's you why can I also look at your phone. Well, <laughs> that's delayed. It's delayed, yes. Uh, McPherson, oh, you want I the see what actual you thing. You want the live, live view. There, there. You. you are Thank totally you. blocking yourself. That's okay. Ain't nobody need to so, see me. McPherson Guitars, if you're not familiar with them, uh, I'm make, totally not here right now. Ah! make super high end uh, acoustic that guitars. That is an understatement. Like, I was talking to them and they were like, yeah, our, our wood guitars, they're all custom shop, basically. They're all custom handmade. They make like a handful of them a year, maybe 10 or 20. No, he said, I did, they, the video that he said like 150 to 200 a year. Oh, to a couple hundred a year. So when you think about it, with like, six, I think he said eight or nine people working. Yeah. If you're going to buy one, you need to be prepared to let go of five figures before the decimal point. I think they start around $10,000. Almost. Yeah. So, there um, are some you can find. Yeah. I have played one before in my life. Uh, but McPherson Guitars reached out to me. They came out with a brand new uh, line of guitars. They're carbon fiber I'm guitars. very excited. So, um, and yeah, they, they got in touch with me and, and we had a, a conversation. They're just awesome people there at McPherson. And uh, they said, we'd love to send you one just to see what you think about it. And if it's something that you think would work, you know, that you would like to use in videos and stuff. So, um... That was like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, he there must have is. like he must have just like got off the phone and put it on the FedEx. They said truck. they said I think we can send it to you today, but they must have expedited it. I would guess if you buy a McPherson guitar, like you're gonna get it quick. Yeah, it's not gonna spend much time. Or in transit. you can get it from Matt Anthony at Midwood Guitars. Oh, at Midwood Guitars. Or Sage Greer at Sound Or Career. Alex Thornton. Yeah. Tell them um, I sent you. Anyway, it's a new line of, of, of acoustics from McPherson. It's not ten thousand dollars. They're not but, they're not budget they're not like budget guitars. They were telling me we're we're not interested in making budget guitars, but we are interested in making a line of guitars that's more accessible for people. And uh, they they told me they've completely engineered it's like all new engineering on this carbon fiber guitar to sound like a wood guitar. Mm -hmm. So uh, why don't we open it up so we can see it and stop talking about it? And then we can talk about it. Yes. Are you going to do the honors, Bradford? Well, I'll help hold it's it. It's a box so you can inside get... of a box. Well, it's not a box. Oh, there's a there's a bo a case in it. and the case looks like carbon fiber too. We'll show you in a second. Don't get there. I, I'm going to doubt that the case is actually carbon fiber. That would be unnecessarily expensive. But it looks like carbon fiber. All right, I'm just going to stand up. That's fine. I'm just trying. Okay. To Got it. So this is the case. This has like a weave on it, so My it bad. looks like carbon fiber. Yeah, you can totally see that in the video. Yeah, nice. Okay. Moment of truth. You want me to hold it so you can open it? If you're watching yeah. McPherson Guitars, I truly hope that whoever shipped this didn't just like toss it around and we break had a, it. We've had a problem in the past. We've had guitars uh, were uh, sent to us in the past, and it nothing to do with the, the yeah, maker, it their fault. but like the headstock was just broken off. because, And I contacted them like, yeah, FedEx must have just tossed it. And we because it was in double boxed in a case. On another okay. one. Okay. I meant I wasn't. That's all oh, I was talking about. This one Whoa. is in fine condition. Whoa. <laughs> they can't see it, but you can. It is. It is. I'm literally getting flushed right now. It is pretty stunning. In Ooh, it smells good too. Oh gosh. Okay. If you want to see it, it's got before. some resonance. Yes, it does. Get that sucker out of there. Okay. Here it Let's is. Let's tune it up. 
Here it is. Okay. Oh my heavens. I wish I was So this guitar is completely made... The neck feels nice. I wish I was playing acoustic this week. This guitar is made completely out of carbon fiber. Um, and they have two options for the finish. Let me get the whole... So you can see the whole thing. I'll just turn it this way. Uh, this is the honeycomb finish. Which I initially told them, I was like, you know what? They have like a, a flat carbon fiber finish. It and looks I was like, really that's, cool in person. I was like, that's probably the one I want. And then I watched one of their demos on their website, and it was this honeycomb. And I emailed them back, and I said, that honeycomb is cool. I said, just send me whatever you want. <laughs> and they and said, they said honeycomb is the way to go. And I'm kind of glad they did. Ooh, doggy. That feels nice. Holy moly. So it's a carbon fiber neck. Everything is carbon fiber on this thing. Uh, obviously the frets aren't, strings aren't, like the tuning hardware isn't, but like the whole But it all has carbon. It is, looks. Because of the basis of I've never, life yeah, I've science. never, <laughs> it's an organic guitar. In chemistry. Frankfurt. Finally you can say this is organic. That is organic, organic. The definition of organic means it contains carbon. So All guitars, are, all wood is organic, because all living things are organic. Okay, let's do this, let's tune it. So, um, first of all, it's like, Feel how light this is. I'm gonna let you hold it. We have oh. any comments? I haven't been watching the stream. Uh, there are some comments. Yes. Um, you want to monitor that, or you? You, want me you to? know, I'll probably. Can I monitor you know your what? phone? Where's my laptop? Over my on the Kemper. Over here. Let's let's pull it up. Why don't you tune it? You need a little reference. There's a guitar next to you that you can use. So how close am I to E? What do you think? I'd say you're pretty close. Oh! <laughs> Bradford's got an ear on him. Well, we all have ears on us, but... Right, where do I go to see this? I need to learn how to internet too, Bradford. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just want to find comments. So if you're commenting right now, we, we're not seeing it. We're, I apologize. This is not... We weren't prepared for this. I'm not sorry. I'm holding that this That thing guitar. sounds pretty good. I mean, like... Nope, nope, that was... That thing sounds excellent. Okay, comments, where are you at? Wow, that is cool and weird looking. It's, not, it's different than a wood guitar. It's way stronger than wood. Looks amazing, but does it sound amazing? What do you think? Yeah, it sounds really good. I don't know how well you can hear that sound. You want some picks? Yeah. This is my acoustic pick. That sounds okay, so one thing to talk about is the way the back of the neck feels. It's like a matte finish. Like it if is. you had a matte finish on a wood, like on, it feels What it reminds me of is the sir behind me. It's like really tight, low end. But like booming in a good way. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. I got a CEO7 right over there. Oh. You're gonna play one and I'll play the other. Excuse me. It looks pretty awesome, I will say. How, how in tune is this guitar? Not. Where's an E? Let's both tune to E, Bradford. Yes. This is just making for... Well, this is live. Riveting television. Is this a TV show? It's not television. Riveting video. Hold on. I gotta do this way. Put the sound hole over here. This is awkward. Ooh, that sounds good. I had... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sitting in front of it. Yeah, the sound or hole... Or you're sitting in front of it. The sound hole's over there. From, that sounds really good. Alright, let me get my A string. Pretty close. Yep. Immediately, that, to my ears, has like a... a, a more clear top, like a clear. Yes. This one's that warmer. Fun. That well, one's. Yeah. Well, we've brighter. decided that like that's why you liked it because it had like this like a uh, thuddy, like singer songwriter yeah. boxy thing. It's very mid rangey. This guitar is, I think, and that's based on the the construction, the body shape. Are you in tune? You're flat. I mean, it did just using get using the polytune app. It just got shipped to us. So we literally the strings, just took it out the of strings the not holding tune is not out of, not ridiculous. I'm in on the beat. 
Well, you tuned it to itself, and you tuned it slightly flat. You mean by ear? Yeah. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, you were pretty close. Alright, now play it. Strum an E. Missing comments, so if you're commenting, I apologize. I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, we got. Uh, have you tried any rain song guitars? That's a great question, Ripper XT. No, I this I've never played a carbon uh, acoustic guitar before ever. This and I told those guys like that is. This will be the first one. So this is a sound that I'm extremely familiar with. You keep playing. Okay. So first of all, the neck profile is extremely comfortable. That sounds really good. Feels good too. with you I don't know what I expected to hear I've never played a the guys at McPherson that I talked to they assured me that it sounds good they were like they said we have engineered this thing to sound really good so the bracing obviously the sound hole is unique uh, this is unique to McPherson guitar so all their guitars or at least all the ones I've seen yeah yeah no I'm pretty sure this that's every hole. one of them um, it's got like a um, this one has a more focused Upper mid range. Yeah, it is. Sound. It is rather mid rangey. They're very different sounding guitars. I, this is like a more of a. They're almost like opposites. Yeah, these would sit well together. If this you is more mid rangey, and that's got more bottom and high, and it's really crazy. Where's the D thirty five? Oh, it's back. back there. I wonder if this sounds more dreadnought. Can I play percussively on it? Uh, what do you mean by percussively? It does have the... Uh... Okay, so it does have like a really punchy low end that this thing doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like when you play it, it's it's like a boom, but not... Usually you say boom and it's a bad thing. Yes, yeah, no, not... it's... Thanks, Derek, by the way. Oh, there was a super chat. Yes, Who's that? From, from Derek. Derek, hey, coffee donation, thanks. Would love to see reviews on different brands like Breedlove, Maiden. So we don't do a lot. So so this is a question. Two sticks are a little harder to do. This was a question that they asked me at McPherson. They said, are you exclusive with a guitar maker? And I said, you might, you probably are like, you would think Martin. And they said, yeah. <laughs> and so. Because um, that's what I have to. Because all you ever see on our channel are Martin guitars. And this, the reason is we really like Martin guitars. Um, this neck feels incredibly good. Like, that's a big deal for a guitar. Somebody like, asked if it was like a thin or thick. I'd say it's medium. It's a medium neck. It does fun shape wise. That one is very unique. I forgot a, how much. I forgot how much of a V this was. I feel like the. If, if we pulled out the D35 to compare it to right now, the strings on that thing are ancient. It yeah. sounds dead. Yeah, well, no, it did. It did. It did. So Derek asked if I can play percussively on it. Like tapping on it drum style. I don't see why not. I mean, we literally... This, how long is this video at this point? Because that's how long we've been playing it. <laughs> what tuner? We were using the Polytune app on the iPhone. This Just thing is really warm. Like, that's not what I expected to hear. Because you think wood guitar warm. 
this thing is very warm. It feels really nice. It's very, um, it looks when good. you strum, like the feedback you get from like hearing the notes pop and the feeling of the guitar on your body. That doesn't work. I'm curious to know what this would sound like plugged in, but that's for another day. Oh, we'll hear it plugged in. Well, not right now. Can we do that? I don't think we can do that. No. I'll put it in some videos. Wow, this thing feels great. So, okay, carbon fiber. Here's I asked them. I said, "Why why carbon fiber? Like why are you why are you building this?" And so they said, um, and I'll I'll tell a story about this guitar, about why this is important. Carbon fiber won't move. And they said, you know, they're they're based in Wisconsin, I think is what he said, or somewhere. Some wherever they they're based in a place that was like minus 40 degrees last week. And they said literally, we did they said they did some videos. Yeah, Wisconsin. They took the guitar outside. Wisconsin. At like minus 40. Dang it, I keep That's your dropping. phone. <laughs> I I took the case off of it, it keeps falling. Fun to play. Um, I don't play acoustic guitar that all that much anymore. I do like in videos, but live I play electric guitar most of the time. Right. Okay, so <laughs> they took the guitar in minus forty degree temperature. Bird, where? <laughs> and then brought it back inside to like seventy degrees, and it didn't. The tuning didn't even change. I wouldn't recommend doing that with one of these. Nothing moves on a on a carbon guitar like this. So like, um, and the difference is on a wood guitar. Wood moves. It's a thing it, that... Yeah, yeah it, it stretches it, and contracts. Yeah, or cold and somewhere. heat will make it move. Moisture really makes it move. So on this guitar, last winter was a very dry, cold winter. And this summer was very wet. It's been raining basically, you know, since like May here. <laughs> it kind of hasn't stopped. The lakes are like about to overflow everywhere. And this guitar developed a crack on the back of it. And uh, forgot about that. Yeah, it's back here somewhere. Right in this... No, right in this area. You can feel it right there. And so, like, it started to crack yeah, up, I see the, it. up the not even on a seam, just the wood started to crack. Yep, I and see so, it too. I took it to Mark Kane, who, if you're in the area, Mark Kane, the fret king, is the man. He's in Cary. Yeah, um, I took it. But to you Mark. need to get like a like you have to He's schedule an appointment, list. like yeah. like anywhere from thirty to ninety days. Yeah, I took it to Mark, and Mark fixed it. And but he told me he's like he goes, I have seen so many acoustic guitars and like nice acoustic guitars, Martins, Gibsons, uh, and he said it's because the humidity changes with the seasons. They're just splitting up the back. This guitar will never ever do that. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is it's made out of carbon fiber. Like if you buy a Lamborghini. Like who's gonna buy one of those? that's watching this, but that, that's their carbon fiber is what you make. Does anybody watching have a Cause it's, Lamborghini? It's like really lightweight and really strong. Like this guitar is not gonna move. So they told me that like it's because it does. It's so it doesn't move so stable. Like the neck will never. Like you would legitimately never need a truss rod adjustment in this. Thing. Really? Because it'll never move. That's a good point. Yeah, like There's not even guitars, a spot for it. Yeah, I don't. They well, they have a special system with their necks. Because if you look the neck, if you can it's see raised. it in the video, yeah. it's like it's kind of like a Gretsch it. guitar where it yeah. comes off the body. But they have a special. You can. It's in here. You can get into it somehow. They can get into it and adjust it. But this guitar is the setup is perfect, which I expected it to be. I mean, if you buy, if you get a McPherson, it's gonna be perfect. Um, I was told, um, so I know a guy who runs Midwood Guitar Shop, Matt Anthony. He was These talking. are gold. He was talking to me. Hardware. Gold or brass? Maybe they're gold in color. Well, yeah. So he what, told me McPhersons are like people collect them, <laughs> like even. Like, not just to play them, like, they want to keep them because they're so beautiful. So, like, you can't really go and play them too often because people want them to be, like, in perfect condition. Which I understand, because that is it. This is an investment. That's what they told me. I, yeah. went, I went to Grim Guitars in Nashville. Uh -huh. I was there for something. And there was a McPherson up there. They had another dealer. And I was like, can I play one of those? Because it is, like, you hear stories about how awesome they are. Um, doesn't Stephen Curtis Chapman play them? Like there are some he, famous maybe artists. Maybe did at one point, but I really don't remember. Yeah, I know he's got a signature Taylor now. So. This thing is like a cannon, though.
then they they gave it to me and they were like, okay, you need to make sure that you don't like even a finished scratch on the back. You gotta buy it because the people that buy it, they said the same thing. Yeah, the people that buy these guitars mm-hmm. expect them to be immaculate. Mint. Yeah. immaculate. Yeah. This is awesome. You wanna play it? Let's trade again. Okay. Man, I really like it's heavier than the Martin. It's a little heavier. But this Martin is like exceptionally light. I don't know how they built yeah, it. Yeah, this is so actually, um there's more if if you're wondering if this guitar can do it, it can. It's it's like they're meant to be to sound amazing, feel amazing. Look I wouldn't amazing. say one sounds but I immediately I don't I don't prefer one over the other. They're just very different sounding. This is what I've always wanted in the sound of an acoustic. Really? There you go, Bradford. All right, what do we? Uh, what do we got? Some comments. Olivia said she. Olivia's live. They left their guitar in the car and it was cold. It was way out of tune. Yeah, and so like, I get I get really antsy about leaving my you know, guitars in cars and stuff because not only will it go out of tune, but like they'll like the finish will crack, the, the wood can crack, like especially acoustics. They can really get messed up. Here, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'll play a little chord progression. You play something on top of it. We'll do this like an Andrew Lewis video. You ready? What, what key do you want? Can we do G just for my sake? try living in Texas because it swings 80 degrees down here 32 one day 80 degrees one day and 32 the next hey Trey I grew up in Oklahoma so I know what you're talking about and uh, yes it does the weather's crazy this thing sounds really good it feels the feel of it is different like the side the front of it is like a, a gloss finish but the side is like a textured finish I don't know what to compare it to what would you say this feels like? Uh, it almost feels like... Pla- it's not uncomfortable. It's not. Now you, would I be, s- you would be forgiven to, if you thought it was plastic. Yeah, it feels like like uh, plastic to a certain extent, but not like... I mean, it doesn't feel like... I think any some people may be like plastic, like ovation. Heck no, 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 it's not like that. No, but it's like... Because this is that carbon fiber stuff. But I mean, yeah. it feels... Uh, in the back of it, the so on this guitar, for example, like this back edge is, is a sharp edge. This one's rounded, which is nice, so it doesn't dig into your butt side like an acoustic mic. <laughs> I don't know why this one. I mean, this guitar is fun to play. The neck is like excellent. I really like the neck on this Martin too. It's uh, very comfortable, but it's very unique. It's a it's a V. Uh, Vlog Pastor says, is that the only body shape that they have? They have two. So this is the... Let me look it up. Yeah, because... look it up real quick. The other one... Uh, the other one's a little small. And it doesn't have the... Like this this pointed horn of, uh, right. thing. So they've got two different carbon guitars. By the way, little uh, t-shirt plug here. We shred because he bled. Potentially a new worst tutorials t-shirt. We'll see. If there's any interest, let me know. 
uh, they've got two models. So they've got one, this is the Sable, which is based on one of, they have a, they have a, a wood guitar that looks like this. And then they have a Touring uh, version, and the Touring one is a little smaller, and it has a rounded cutaway. I don't have any other guitars. Actually, I do have a Takamini over there. Yeah, the so like, has if cutaway. you imagine, imagine... If you go to if you go to imagine Mac, this just kind of rounded. MacPhersonGuitars.com, you can see all their stuff. Yeah, but imagine like this coming down and then it just it you're, kind of you're off rounds it off. There. Oh, am I? Yeah. We'll Sorry. Be. And then like it yeah. it like rounds off here instead, so it yeah. kind of looks like a little cutaway. And, and look at the size difference. It's yeah, that's significantly small. Where yeah. Where'd it go? It's significantly smaller. The the touring one. This, now I'm like, well, there now there. I need to figure out. Oh wow, yeah, it's a lot smaller. Significantly. Um, now I need to figure out how to get like a one of these. Well, you can. You can I want one of the big. To my house. I want one of the big Kahuna ones. That's what this is. Oh, like the wood guitar. Like the. You better start saving your pennies, man. My my uh, not even in the picture. Children are going to college if I want. piece of art though. Tension filled way to play a D. Likewise. You like to do that? What I like is your E chord thing that you do. It's this thing? No, this. Yes! Well, isn't, that pretty, isn't that a pretty chord? Where, where are we going here? Oh, he's doing some sort of random tuning. I don't know what's happening. Dad Gad. Dad Gad, that's not that random. All right, well, we got some comments. Jake Coe says, it's been a while since they've seen you on acoustics. It's been a while since I heard. I'm singing that song. Uh, Trey says, you're the rhythm player. It's in whatever key you want. <laughs> I would buy the shirt. I want the shirt. Love the shirt. Yes, I want the t-shirt. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we got to figure out a way how to make these t-shirts. I like the side markers. They're little circles. Kind of reminds me of the Jennings electric guitar. It would sound warmer if you put some Martin light or medium light. So I've had a couple of people say that it's not, they don't think it sounds warm. That must be a product of the way I have the microphone EQ or something, because it does not lack warmth. It does have a more of a, a, a pristine sounding high end. Yeah. I would say this probably sounds more like a Taylor. Taylor has that really shimmery high end. I don't have a Taylor to compare that. It's got a really deep low end now. It's it's it sounds really good. I'm having a hard time wanting to talk. I'm sorry, y'all. Alex Garcia says, "Do you ever feel awkward about lugging around really expensive gear? As in, do you worry about it breaking?" Yeah, I do. Or uh. Breaking or getting stolen, like out of my car or something. Because often what I'll do is when I go to church, um, we'll go, like my family will go somewhere to eat afterwards and it's in the back of my car. I always make sure, I, I always try and cover stuff up. Or, I worry about that a lot. Brian, how have you been? It's been a while since we've played. CWT in May. Carter. Oh, well, that's Carter. 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 Hey, Carter. I've been well, man. How are you? We need to play again soon. He's probably plays with you more than me, huh? You could come to Hillsboro. I might have to make that happen. I like this. We're in C now. Well, I can't do that. Because do D. Like the earth moved, the sun be there.
doing an E minor. Did that add? That's cool. Bradford, let me tell you a secret. Bradford has Bradford knows all the good chord voicings. He only uses the good ones. Look at all that harmonics happening. This guitar just sings, man. It's really nice. Really nice. Thank you, McPherson. McPherson. Yes. I keep saying McPherson. McPherson. Thank you for this is uh, unreal. partnering together. You're going to be seeing this guitar in some videos soon. I got a bunch on the docket to uh, to shoot. Need to do need to do some stuff off the new Bethel album. Mm -hmm. uh, Goodness of God is like coming on my list quickly. That's a really good song. So, um, Evo Fretwire. Let me um, let me see what the frets are on this guitar. I wonder if they've got. Uh, they've got a spec sheet here. I don't see it just off the top of the my head. I can find out though what the uh, what the uh, the fret wire is made out of. Kirian, oh, you're back to standard. Here, you want to take this? Yes. And then let me see if there's anything in this box of goodies. Oh, what else is over here? Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is a terrible unboxing. <laughs> what is that? I guess I would I, guess that fits in the sound hole because that's got probably a little... that could be a feedback cover, maybe. Oh yeah. Look at this nice strap. What does it sound like when you cover up? It just loses the bottom end. So that's probably for feedback. Yeah. Look at this strap. It's nice quality. I'll say this too. Um, it's a nice strap. I asked them what kind of pickup system they use. It's an LR Bags Element that. That LR Bags, because uh, LR Bags and McPherson like have a relationship with one another. The LR Bags and, and McPherson specifically tuned for this guitar. So, oh, here we go, Brian. And you've got controls for it right this? here. Oh, there's another bridge. Yeah. Okay, so you got two bridges. Maybe so if you can maybe, get over it. <laughs> it might be if you want like that's funny. Lower or higher action, I would guess maybe. Or maybe they just give you another one. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So you can get over it. Okay, what? <laughs> I follow you. Did you hear? Okay, let's let let's let's talk about this too. So bridges and nuts and the things that these the the uh, materials that these are made of make a difference. This is probably bone from the way it looks, or it's probably not plastic is where I'm going, which is what uh, most lower end guitars would buy. Listen if you drop this to how like resonant it is. Can you hear that's the the high end? If you would drop be a plastic terrible if it one. Broke. Yeah, it would be. If you dropped a plastic one, it would thud. And that, that one almost sounds like ring. clay. That one kind of had a ring to it. Got a serial number, and it says medium. <laughs> Autofocus. Nope. Okay. What am Beautiful. I playing here? So will I. Does it start here or there? I don't remember, actually. How does so will I go? Where's my phone? Hey Siri, play So Will I by Hillsong. It's either an A or D. I think it's A. Okay, let's hear So Will I. 100 billion X by Hillsong. You can't play too much of this or we're going to get... Alright, stop. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Okay, I, I understand. There we go. That's it. So it's an A. I need a capo. song go? You know what? I can't play this if I'm not. I gotta play it in using, I gotta use G shapes. So you gotta put the capo on here and you gotta do like. So you're using a capo to play So Will I? The internet will explode. The internet will be fine. 
Do you know how this song starts? Not well, not off the top of my head. And as, as you speak huh. I'm, I can't find the key. It's pretty high, isn't it? You if it all reveals your nature, so will I. There's a reason that I do this in G. This is the thing about this song is it's really hard to sing the words. You got any comments that uh, we can uh, talk about? It's like 5.15. Probably at a... Probably at a it is 5.15. Break it up. It yeah. is the end of the day. Well, here on the eastern coast of the United States. Please. Well... If you want some more information, Check out McPherson's website. Of course, it does not, I mean... <laughs> 21 frets. How many people play up here on acoustic guitar? I don't know. So what's uh, what's the thing that we could play? What's Lion in the Lamb? Is that how it goes? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm butchering it. That's not the key that it's in, though, right? Let's start there. So we start. Right? That's A. Next string. You gotta go down a string. Go down a string. No, down, up a string. Sorry. Why don't we just end this so we can save everybody? Thank y'all. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> no, it's not over yet. I have to stop it. Hold on. The endings of these things are always super awkward. Uh... Anything else that we would like to talk about? Did I see that Fuller's here? Or somebody's talking about Fuller? I think someone said something about him. Okay. How are you capturing the room right now, Trey says. It sounds really... There's a room mic right there. It's an AKG C214. It's plugged into a Universal Audio Apollo. It has some UAD plugins on it to make it sound nice. Somebody was telling me how So Will I Starts. God of creation. There at the start, before the beginning of time. It's all coming back now. With no point of reverence, spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. I haven't sung in a while. And as you speak. Okay. All right. That's it. We're going to sign off. Thank you guys for watching. McPherson Guitars, thank you for uh, for partnering together with Worship Tutorials. This thing is really, really cool. It's amazing. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, check out check out their website, their Instagram, for more info, more pictures, yeah. demos, Paul Balash videos, Stephen Curtis Chapman videos. Stephen Curtis Chapman, Paul Balash. Paul Balash plays McPherson, doesn't he? I, I've seen him with some. Yeah. Before. Mm -hmm. Um... So, uh, hey, did I see that Jake, uh, church front, hey, <laughs> Jake Goslin said, if he super chats me a hundred dollars, will he, will I give them the McPherson? Well, Jake, if you did that, here's what would happen. Google would keep their 40%, so I would get $60 from that hundred. Jake, you know all about how this works. Uh, so he's asking if, if I would let go of this for 60 bucks. The answer is no.
Jake Goslin and I are going to be uh, doing some videos together. So oh, neat. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna do some collab. I think Jake's going to be able to make it up here. We're going to do a little tour of the studio. Maybe? I don't know. I'm sure there'll be cheeseburgers for, for everyone involved. Yes. Anyway, Jake, good to see you, bud. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. And I think... <laughs> this is like I keep turning over here. Let me give this to you. I'm going to do this from here. Uh... Be on the lookout soon for Worship Tutorials t-shirts. We shred because he bled. My mom sent me a text message and said, what does that mean? Uh, shredding for uh, is like uh, guitar. guitar. Guitaring real fast. If you're playing electric guitar, you're shredding. We shred because he bled. We play the guitar to the glory of the Lord because Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. So everything that we do is an outpour of thanks and worship to him because of who he is and what he's done. That's what Amen. this shirt means. So we might be making more of them. Uh, I posted this somewhere and somebody made the comment, that does not look like a first century Jew, uh, which is who Jesus was. To which I responded, it's not meant to be historically accurate. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if I've offended you. I know that Jesus That's a good was... good point. I know that Jesus was not... Uh, Caucasian guy with long hair and blue eyes. I, I get that. So, um, anyway, everyone's like, we need that shirt. There's another shirt that I made called Jam for the Lamb. And, uh, was it? No, I did, I did Jam for the rock Lamb. Rock the Flock. I did Rock the Flock. And the O had like a little church graphic inside of it. Rock the Flock. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do there. Uh, <laughs> elixirs are clear tone. Uh, strings. I like elixirs. I don't know what's on this. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I, don't, I looked at it. Did there it, was no was it on the spec sheet or anything? No, there wasn't anything. Like that. The actually, that, that really wasn't a spec sheet. It was uh, <coughs> Bless you. warranty info. Excuse me. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of specs on their website, though. So Yeah, go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. We are really going to... I say that, but now I lost the page where, that lets me control what's happening in this video. All right, give me a second. Oh, it was on there. Was it? You weren't. We didn't start it. You did it over there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. You're, uh... We just rearranged the studio earlier today, so I think I think both of us are a little... A little out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Not now sure I, what's Now happening. I can stop it. Brad, thanks for hanging out with me and unboxing this video, or this guitar in the video. It Thank was my pleasure. For, for being a part of it. I'm really glad that whoever shipped it didn't damage it. That would have been a weird video. Thank you, FedEx. Yes. All right. But I, you know, given the way that this is... I, I bet this thing could withstand some serious stress and come out unscathed. I think so, too. Being that it's made out of carbon fiber. All right. See you guys. Do I really want to stop? Yeah.